Welcome back to Wildlife Wednesday. If you're going to survive the long Montana winters, you have to find some creative ways to have fun on top of the snow. But today, we're going to talk about what's going on underneath the snow in the Subnivian Zone. When the snow falls, it lands on grasses, bushes, logs, and other objects that keep it from accumulating much on the ground below. At the same time, the radiant heat from the earth is causing the snow that does reach the ground to go through what's called sublimation. So that means the solid snow is turning straight into a gas. So water vapor rises and meets the layer of snow above, refreezing and solidifying this snow-free area under the snow near the ground. This snow-free area is what is known as the subnivian zone. As winter goes on, small mammals create their own little ecosystem under the snow. Some, like mice, scurry about feeding on grasses, bark, and seeds that they have collected. Voles even create complex residences with different areas to eat, sleep, and use the bathroom. As the snow melts in the spring, you can see evidence of these complex living quarters. The Subnivian Zone is not only a great place for small mammals to hide from predators, but to hide from winter conditions as well. With enough snow, this layer is so well insulated that it stays around 32 degrees Fahrenheit all winter long. But they aren't always safe. Some predators, like foxes and owls, are specialized to hunt for critters scurrying beneath the snow. They will listen for any sign of life before breaking through the layers of snow and emerging with a tasty treat. One of the fiercest predators in the subnivian zone are weasels like ermine. Unlike larger predators, these guys can fit right into the tunnels under the snow. So, the next time you are out having fun on top of the snow, remember that there's a whole hidden world unfolding beneath you.